It's Monday, and that means it's time for Pal Pro Wrestling. I'm Brian Zane, joined by Mr. Ooh La La. And Mr., we are still feeling the euphoria after West Coast Wrestle Fest at MacArthur Court. It was a wild show. I'm still high off it. I haven't slept for days. Usually I chug and chug and chug the little energy drinks that the Americans like, but I am just filled to the brim on natural energy, natural enthusiasm, natural adrenaline from WrestleFest. He's jazzed about it, folks, and you will be too after watching this opening contest, this six-man action. It was crazy, it was frenetic, it was chaotic, action-packed, you might call it, as a conglomerate that's Alpha Zoe, Midas Creed, and D Rogue battle C4 and the unbelievable Jaden. And I had to ask Cody Chung, I said, C4, I don't get it. What does yes four mean? He goes, not yes four. C is in the letter C four. Like, okay, and he goes, classic Cody Chung. And he goes, and we used to have Clark Connors. Four C's. I was like, well, Clark's not here, so can you be three C's now? No. I, he just walked away. I would too. I mean, one, you're bothering him. Two, he's got to get ready for a match. I mean, my guess is he, he just didn't want to change his gear and put a three on there because he didn't have the same ring to it and area had music and everything. I, I have to guess. So this that. is what you got out of all this. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to guess this is going to be one of those matches where I'm going to lose my breath halfway through trying to keep up with all the stuff that's oh, going Oh, yeah. On. All right. D Rogue in there with uh, classic Cody Chung. Chung taking that leg. Hey, look at that. Wow. Some, some wrestling. Kind of. Good moves, though. Yep. Look at that. Give it a little bit of the, what you can do, I can do. Right. Backslide. Only a one count, though. Whoa. Oh. I like it. Pull his dread out. Oh, no. What? Pull his dread out. If he plants it, it might grow a dread tree. Is that a thing? Nah, I don't know. Okay, I, just, I didn't keep, know either. Keep believing it. I don't know if it's like when you grow up, when you plant bamboo, it's the same thing. It'll, it'll go out of hand. Just like and that's That's why I never had long hair when I was in the ring, man. I always kept it high and tight, less for them to grab. Oh. I thought it was because of the receding hairline. And that didn't oh, happen oh, until later. Yeah, right? ease up, pal. Imanari roll there. Not everybody behind. can have your typical Northwest guy haircut <laughs> like you do. <laughs> oh, thank you, my man. Midas Creed. Hey. The, hey, uh, I won't put that on eBay either. Oh. I'm going to keep that. Midas and Jaden, the quick ones of the group, I'm positive of it. Did, you, did he just bring you his dread? He did. Okay. Dread's right here. All right. It's not for sale either. Okay. You put that under your pillow. Oh, I'm going to. Then I'll have, then is there, I'll have a, is there a, a dread, dread tree. Was, like, does Bob Marley come put a dollar I on? hope so. Buffalo Soldier. All right, King of Trail Alpha Zoe in right now with the KO boy, Guillermo Rosas. So far, we got a stalemate in this one, I would say. Yeah, both these teams are definitely evenly matched. I'd say these are the, the powerhouses of the teams. Uh, yeah, these are yeah. the these are the enforcers of the teams, I'd say. Yep, speed goes to Creed and Jaden. Zoe and, and uh Rosas are, are your power. And Chung. Yep. Well they're they're just the power forwards. And Cody and Rogue, yeah, they are the they are the power forwards, that's for sure. Rosas whip off. Uh oh. Nobody budging. No. It's like Chief Charles Barkley's going at it. Guillermo's got a lower center of gravity. He needs to make sure he boxes out. Oh. God, that hurts my shoulder no to sit over here. I, I just, hearing that sound just makes me go, oh. Here we go again. Shoulder to shoulder. Uh-oh. Keep it going. Someone's going to give. That is one way to blow out a shoulder for sure. Don't worry, we got Dr. Richards here. Good point, and Dr. Cleaver. Huh, well. I think I'd take Dr. Richards. I said, Doc, Cleaver might be able to prescribe yeah. them something. I don't yeah. know about much else. Out of, hey, out of his bag. I'll go to Cleaver's Pharmacy, but I would rather go to Dr. Richards. Oh. I think I might catch an infection. From they are trading forearms. Neither one wants to blink in this stare off. 
This Rose is one, this is one heck oh, of a there he goes. There it is. One heck of a shoulder off. Zoe with the big shoulder. Woo! Big chop by Zoe. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. It's breaking yeah, down. Yeah, Donnie Brook. Do it. Yeah, get it on, kid. They're going to Katie bar the door. Katie bar the door. No more of this hand shakes and back slapping. Let's start throwing uh -oh. some hands. Right. Uh -oh. Cody and Rogue on the outside. The, I think Katie Bar was Sandy Bar's daughter. Probably. Uh-oh. 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 He's got that look in his eye. Yep. Uh -oh. oh, oh, he's getting his help. They uh -oh. single for a fair catch. Needs a, needs a fair catch. Midas coming. Big oh. flip over the top. I thought we were going to get another fair catch. Midas lands on his feet. Like a house of cards, they all crumbled. It should be noted those uh, armbands on Midas' arm. Late great Virgil Flynn. Aha. Uh -huh. Missed that guy. Absolutely one of the greats. Oh, now the conglomerate putting the boot. That's what I like yeah. to see right here. This is my kind of action packed action. That's what you get. Is it okay if I say that? So far. Okay. Tearing off his dread. Put the boots to him. Yeah, I would too. Dread's right over here to prove it. I'd be mad. Actually, I should, I should put, tuck this underneath my ear right here. Maybe I can get a little dread going. I don't think that's like how a, that works. It's like a starter seed. <laughs> yeah, I, I just water it a little bit. Tape it on there pretty soon. I'm going to oh, give him a big one. Oh, open hand chest lap. It's like he owed him money. Yeah. Well, he does. There's a good chance he does. Creed in. Oh. Big, big shoulder tackle. Now, these three have not been together super long. No, it's like something like fall of 2021 or something like that they got together. But even still, a little bit more cohesion between these three. I mean, this is the first time I believe that Jaden's team up with C4. I believe you are correct. I usually am. Are you sure? I didn't do my research on that. Yeah, you didn't go ask him? No, I didn't. Oh, man. That sounds like something you'd do. Oh, face wash. I love it. Just boot that mask off his head. No kidding. Hey, fooling nobody. Well, but if you boot that mask sideways on his head, he can still see because then it just becomes a headband. Ah. Uh-oh. Double team move coming up. Flips out goes Jaden. So someone that athletic, why would you over-rotate him like that? He's going to land on his feet. Oh. He's like a cat, that guy. Yeah. Uh-oh. Waist lock. Oh. Lifts him up like, no. Oh, oh stunner. her. Jaden trying to work to make a tag. I'm not sure he got him all of it, but enough. Makes the tag into Cody Chung. Chung with the tackle. Another tackle. Chung, all kinds of tackles. Big splash in the corner for Cody. Another one. Boom. Heaps of height. Oh. oh ho, ho. He's got distance on those jabs. Not anymore. He's got arms like Reed Richards. Oh, like a who? <laughs> Fantastic four. Keith Richards. Reed Richards. Oh. They're long, that's the point. Only a two count there. I was gonna say Keith Richards doesn't have very long arms, but boy, can he play guitar? Uh-oh. Here we go. Some oh, the bowling offense. ball, the bowling ball. Oh! Gilmer Rose is the human fire hydrant. Oh, it's like a basketball team drill right going on right now. They're doing the give and go. Yep. No! Whips! Jaden into the corner, splash. Not keeping an eye on your opponents, though. Rest yep. of the conglomerate in there to break it up. Snuck through the back door. Wow, big Dang. kicks. Some kicks by, all around. By Zoe and Rogue. Woo, One, quick drop kick. Two. Oh. Dang. Cannonball. Coming to Zoe. Gets up. the big guy up. Down. What Brain buster. Up. This could be it. Must go down. Oh. oh. Broken up. Smart move by Jaden. I would have to say yes on that one. Couldn't get through him, so he used his own partner against him. And everybody's down now. Oh, it's serious business now. The shirt yep. comes off. Yep, business. That's Cody like the second. Out of oh, oh, big God. cutter off the second for Cody Chung. 
D Rogue has no clue where he's at. No, he doesn't. Uh, oh, okay. yeah, I like that. Right in the brainstem. Gut wrench into a oh. sit out power bomb. Dang. See the way his neck snapped back? Like a chicken bone. Uh, half and half suplex. Running up. Whoa. Modified slice bread. Jaden waiting for the tag patiently. Hey, someone following the rules. Imagine that. Pass by. Uh-oh. Don't blink it with these two in the ring. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Little homage to the late great Scott Hall, perhaps. Oh! oh hey, Avalanche yo! Power bomb. Wow. That's a good move. He's a cover on. What are He's, you doing? Yeah, I don't know. That's a rookie mistake, though. See? Yeah. How's your chin? Should have pinned him. Zero says it's over. Oh, nice. Nice Jayden, reversal. Jaden at the back door. Missed it. Missed it. Uh, He's just running uh, through. Oh! oh. He just, just absolutely. I mean. Oh, Ooh. gosh. Wow. That, that had hurt. I Tail mean, whip kick. Took what? his head off. Doing? Rolling through. Oh, combination in Seguri. Oh, fly, big man, fly. Wow. He floated. Game over. I'm not going to lie, that was one hell of a match. Yeah. And I, I would not be upset if these three uh, started coming back up here a little bit more regularly. C4 or Jaden might, but I wouldn't be. POW Pro Wrestling embarks on a brilliant adventure as we return to our home on the U of O campus in Eugene in the newly refurbished Gerlinger Hall on Saturday, May 14th with a 7.30 bell time. Vinny Massaro defends the POW Pro Wrestling Championship against the new era savage, Juicy Finale. Rebel Kell returns to action to face the formidable threat of the fallen flower, Kikyo. In a wolf for tag team supremacy, the Blanchers, Bash Bros, Konami Code, and the Cook Bros battle it out in a four-team elimination match. Malcolm Flex tries to take out Big Ugly before he has a chance for revenge against Vinny Massaro. Jaden tackles the imposing threat of the bad life choice, Caden Cassidy. Dr. Cleaver is in search of a new tag team partner and will make his way through the field of contenders in the Dr. Cleaver Invitational Battle Royal. After destroying each other for years, Drexel and Funnybone have made an unholy pact and direct their destructive tendencies towards Midnight Heat. Allie Ketch makes her long-awaited POW debut as she faces La Bruja Abigail Warren along with her nefarious conservator, Mr. Ooh La La. All this and more. Tickets start at just $15 for U of O students and are available at POWProWrestling.com. Full bar and food available. I am Dr. Cleaver and you will listen to everything that I have to say. The people at POW Pro Wrestling seem to have forgotten who they are dealing with. Brian Zane, Mr. Ooh La La, do you remember who Dr. Cleaver is? Because I do. I propose the Dr. Cleaver Invitational Battle Royal, the winner of which gets to become my special assistant. And they will become a monster of my own creation. And we will be unstoppable. You will see Jaden, you'll see Dr. Cleaver, and many more in action at Brilliant Adventure on May 14th at Girlinger Hall, still on the University of Oregon campus. You know something, Mr. Girlinger is a building pretty near and dear to my heart. I used to take ballroom dance lessons there. You don't say, perhaps you can show me some of your moves sometime. Yeah, uh, maybe later, mister. But I'll tell you what, how about the match we have coming up? Is Vinny Massaro versus Kevin Blackwood for the Pow Championship. Indeed, and let me tell you what brought Vinny Massaro to the dance. Cunning, plotting, he's connected with Uncle Sal, he's devious. He'll do anything to win, and he will try to win today against Kevin Blackwood. The towel's on the line. It's coming up right now. And a sweet of the deal in the Bless Challenge. The next opponent that comes through will get the chance, if they need me, to face me for his Power Wrestling Championship. 
Oh, really? Blackwood to the top. Come on, Flex, do something. Meteora from the top. That was a double stomp. Kick out. That's oh. three. Here is your winner, the aesthetic crippler, Kevin Blackwood. Brian Zane here backstage with the PAL Pro Wrestling Champion, Vinny Massaro. And Vincent, this could be your biggest challenge to date as the champion as you defend against Kevin Blackwood. What's going through your head right now? Listen, Kevin Blackwood is a great professional wrestler, but I'm Vinny Massaro. I am the PAL Pro Wrestling Champion. And when money is on the line, when the belt is on the line, I cannot lose. Because if I lose, I have to answer to Uncle Sal. You know Uncle Sal, right? Nobody, nobody wants to answer to Uncle Sal, especially if money is on the line. So Kevin Blackwood, I apologize, but I will do everything to keep this belt with the Masaro family. Well, speaking of money, Vinny, uh, money matchup two weeks from now, pal, pro wrestling for the number one contendership. Now, should you retain the championship against Black? I'm just saying, should you retain the title against Kevin Blackwood? I'm sure you have a vested interest in that number one contenders match, Hammerstone versus Malcolm Flex. Listen, like I said, Malcolm Flex is going to win the number one contendership, and the belt is staying with the family. Capiche? It's very easy. Bold claim by Vinny Massaro. That title matches up next. The number one nice guy. The number one nice guy. It's great holding that championship. Yeah, absolutely. But he's. That's a gorgeous looking belt. Now, is that bad luck? What bad luck? Holding up the title before you win it. Yeah. I mean, uh, how many titles you won, Jeremy Blanchard? A lot. Okay. So what, you, what do you think? I don't remember grabbing the belt and holding it up though before. I uh. So are you uh? I'd have to say it's not. Was that foreshadowing, Ben Jonas? I don't. I'm just saying. Jimmy Blanchard, so far you're 0 for 2 tonight for the Masada family. I don't want to talk about it. That was a bunch of, you know what, malarkey. Malarkey. One, two, three. asking for a clean break. That, that counts as clean. Yep, he didn't hit him. Gave a bit of the business. Yeah, that's what Vinny Massaro is all about. Is the business. business. All right, Gary, would you like to recap what brought us here? Or? No, I'll let, I figured you would have done that already. You had all, all my notes in front of you, so you might as well plagiarize some more. All of your chicken scratch. Yeah, so who can read that stuff? Hey, my parents told me I should have been a doctor, but hey. Oh, well, you know who is a doctor? Yeah, Doctor Cleaver. Oh, well, that's not me, Ben. No. Oh. This almost got over real fast. Vinny Massaro almost took a kick to the head. Massaro is way smarter than to take a kick in the head at this point in the match. Okay. Definitely definitely good strategy to not get kicked in the head. Yes. I'm going to put that in my notebook. I would if I were you. 
See, I, le I learned when I'm sitting at this table, right? You got to. So to recap, previously, Malcolm Flex bit off a bit more than he could chew when he was doing his uh, Flex Challenge, trying to one-up Hammerstone. And he said if anybody could beat him in that challenge, they would get a shot at Vinny's title, not his, which isn't his belt. Too. I mean, you know, hey, hey. Hey, 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 what we do, hey, what we do, it's our business. Kevin Blackwood peppering Vinny Massaro with shots, kicks, and punches. Kevin Blackwood coming out like the 20th person that Malcolm had to wrestle. Third. I think, yeah, I'm not a mathematician, but I'll, I'll take your word on that. Yeah, okay. Scored what I consider the upset victory, now here we are. Massaro, veteran of, oh! Whoa. Remember what you said about not getting kicked in the right, head? Right, well. It was a, that was a shoulder, but they're close, close. Okay. Well, Vinny's got a big head, you never know. Is that a shot to the head, Jeremy Blanchard? Ran shot. right through him. That was a Polish hammer. Uh -huh. It was almost a shot to the heart. Close to a flying burrito. Oh, Blackwood trying to get Vinny Massaro up. Reversal, 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 reversal. Get dizzy. I love it. They can't figure each other out. Or maybe they're figuring each other out. Maybe. Double reversal. There you go. Double oh, stop. Gosh. Oh, rug burn. Foot burn. Can give them palpitations. Peace to the nations. One, two. Kevin Blackwood, one count away from becoming the new Power Pro Wrestling Champion. Blackwood's been on a bit of a tear lately. Get in the ring with the likes of Davey Richards. Doctor. That's right. Doctor Davey Richards. Wait a minute. Davey Richards. DR. Doctor. You cracked the code. Well, apparently, if your initials are DR, you're going to be a doctor. Okay, Dr. Cleaver's initials are DR, right? He's not a doctor. What is he doctor? Probably a lot of things. Tape? Yeah. He's also wrestled as the ROH world champion, Jonathan Gresham. And the murder grandpa himself, Minoru Suzuki. <laughs> the murder grandpa. That's right. Wow. One of the scariest individuals I've ever seen in the ring. With probably one of the oddest haircuts in pro wrestling. And not the scariest, because that would be Mr. Snug Life himself. Uh, how much is he paying you to say that? I. He pays me quite well. You don't need to know what I get under the table, right? right? You don't have to does not surprise me it's under the table. Don't have to claim it. That's right. Vinny just slides you an envelope. I know. One of his people does. I don't know how that works. Big body slam by Vinny Massaro. I don't speak Italian, Jeremy. What did he say? You don't want to know. Actually, tell you truth, I can't say it. Oh, okay. We get kicked off of YouTube again. Yes. Blackwood getting that right shoulder off the mat. Oh, yeah, he's made him do it, too. Uh, made him do it. He had no choice. I don't know if I agree with the logic of wearing a big chain around your neck while you're wrestling. Well, here. Didn't it work for Albert? Cool holes? Yeah. Guy, guy hits bombs. Big back elbow by Vinny Massaro. Love it. Love it. Stop everybody in their tracks. Oh, go. Go, Blackwood, go. Record that was Jimmy Blanchard cheering for Kevin Blackwood? No, that was not. See, trying to stir stuff again. If Brian Zane's the influence, they can call you the instigator. Big time. I thought, this, I thought Mike Sorrentino's situation was an instigator. I know you guys don't watch Jersey Shore. Why would I? Oh! Warm by the nice guy, oh. Vinny Massaro. Kevin returns with a kick. And for him again. He's matching up strike for strike. Like with good form on those kicks. He's not getting his hips rotated enough. Bringing the knee up first, as you should. Oh, oh ho, ho, ho. that was that was solid. Showstopper, right, right there. Show stop. 
Oh, Busaiko knee. Yes, that's what it's called. All Don't right. Look. I mean, if you ever check to see if you had a Google going or something. I mean, remember I'm the guy that does the research. Are you saying that I'm not prepared? Are you? I, I, I know a lot. Were you prepared for your match? I was, no. Okay. I was, yes, I was prepared. I wasn't prepared for heat to be, you know, sneaky like that, but what are you going to do? Kevin Blackwood peppering Vinny with some more shots. Almost catches that kick to the buckle. Vinny catches the boot. Kevin to the second rope. Missile drop kick. Both feet planted on him. Vinny in all kinds of trouble. This could be it. Took too long into the cover there. He's got to figure something out now. He might not be the uh, Pal Pro champion much longer. Take that back. I will He's in that. full control right now. Is he? Yeah, he is. I don't know what you're watching. Like Janet Jackson. Control. See, see how I set him up? There's oh. that kick. This is it right set there. Him up. One, two, we have a new champion. Ah, uh, yeah. You like that, wouldn't you? Don't count your chickens. Jump the gun, buddy. Set up for another kick. I think you and Blackwood might be roommates. I don't know how much, how much you're loving this guy. Now Blackwood trying oh, to get Vinny up. That is quite the task. Nice. Is that the guillotine? Kevin. Not the guillotine choke. Up. Oh, oh, oh stuck that knee out in the middle of his back. You see that? Sit out half and half. Oh, how come count. you didn't say, we have a steel champion here? Vinny Massaro. You didn't jump the gun on that one, did you? He didn't win, did he? With Blackwood, you'd be already throwing confetti up, up in the rafters here at Matt Fork. Oh, Blackwood. Oh, German suplex. That's how you do it, baby. Exploder suplex. Oh, I've seen this before. Uh -oh. I'm about firing up. Yep. There's a lot on the line in this how, match. How many can you? How many can you eat? How many can you absorb? Probably as many until you fall. And adrenaline is a hell of a drug. That's true. The mind wears off. I'm gonna be in trouble here. I don't think that's how that line goes. Big oh. clothesline by Vinny Massaro. Wasted. He's not done. Blackwood's gonna catch him. Rolling. No, oh, maybe not. Gives Vinny one of his own. Gets Vinny up. Here I was doing a G-Shock and anticipating something that didn't happen. Oh, oh no, 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 I do not know how Vinny kicked out of that. The referee's as surprised as we are. By a dog's hair. Got dumped right on his head. Blackwood to the top. Vinny on roller skates. This, this, big oh. frozen forearm. Make it two. Oh, he just folded. One, two, three. Got him. I knew it, G-Shock. <laughs> Where was your little? <laughs> it hurt you to say that, didn't it? Yeah, it stung. For you to say, and still. It does, just a little bit. Kevin Blackwood gave it all he had. They say horseshoes. Well, oh, but hey, at least somebody in the Masaro family won today. That's a little nepotism for you and uh, little Blackwood there. Nepotism? Yeah. That yeah, was your cousin. Wow. He does the same. He might, I mean, he, I could see him being an American Idol. <laughs> that is not Tony Terrific. You take that back. Against the wall in Eugene, Oregon, the POW Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion Vinny Massaro goes against Juicy for now. Juicy, I am going to break your knee just like that toilet that you sat and broke. Guess what, Juicy? It's over for you, buddy. Flex! Oh, big ugly against the wall. Your arm is a little torn up from the last time you were here. And guess what? I'm gonna knock your ugly face against the wall. Top earner is what I do. And that's the Masaro family, baby. After Malcolm Flex, put
put you up against the wall. The Blanchard Brothers and the Kingpin Masaro. We're going to take you out and break it down. Yeah. You might have the Bass Brothers with you. They ripped off our gimmick, mm. so we don't like them either. Mm. Big ugly, we're going to break you down. <laughs> And remember, Masaro family over everything. Capish? Capish, baby. Mm -hmm. ah! Outstanding. Pow sets it off as we make our Salem debut at the Croc Center on Sunday, May 15th, with Wanna Be Starting Something with a 4.30 bell time. Big Ugly and the Bash Bros look for revenge as they face Vinny Masaro and the Blanchards in a six-man tag match. If Ugly's team wins, he gets any match he wants against Vinny. The premier woman in the Northwest, Rebel Kell, tests her medal against the indie scene's premier female star in Ellie Ketch. Konami Code looks to up their game against lifelong masters of two-player mode, the Cook Bros. Malcolm Flex will unleash the beast inside as he faces the debuting Leon Negro. Can Jaden make it two for two as he steps back into his personal nightmare and meets Funny Bone? The New Era Savage and the Bad Life Choice collide as Juicy Finau and Caden Cassidy meet in an epic beef boy battle. The dynamic duo of Titus Alexander and Nick Wayne join forces for the first time to face off with the equally impressive Midnight Heat. Tickets start at $20 and are available at POWProWrestling.com. Be there at the Croc Center for Wannabe Starting Something. Want to be starting something happens on May 15th in Salem, Oregon. Pow! Making its debut in Oregon's capital city. And Mr. We have a lot of exciting action coming up next week right here on the channel. Wrestling with Regret, Pow Pro Wrestling, a continuation of what fans saw at the West Coast WrestleFest. That's right. We are going to have Sandra Moon taking on Kikyo. Substituting for Rebel Kell, who hurt her little thingy and couldn't make it to the show. Well then, folks, the past, present, and future of tag team wrestling on the West Coast, it collides here in the ring. Midnight Heat, the Reno Scum, and the Blanchard Brothers clash in a triple threat match for the ages. You're going to see all that next week, folks. But until then, for Mr. Ooh La La, I'm Brian Zane, and we'll see you next time. How about that dance? What? Oh, hey, now. Where, 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 where are we going? Where are we going?